this is a classic story where engineers say, you know what, I can do that and I can make it better. This is Hope Technology in Barnoldwick, Yorkshire. The company originally started at IPCO where they were making jigs and fixtures, but they like their mountain biking, their trail biking. They manufactured disc brakes for mountain bikes. Well, they haven't really looked back since actually because now they're in this huge facility. It's Hope Technology, Barnoldwick. So they originally started with disc brakes. Now they make pretty much every component on a bike. In fact, they do make their own bike. This facility is geared up, excuse that very bad pun, to manufacture all these components, millions a year. It's a 59,000 square foot facility. Now they're also expanding, double the size very soon, and the new facility is also gonna have a better drone on the top, which seems out because it's bicycles. Now, the reason we're here, I mean the turning cell at Hope Technologies, it's about process security automation, making millions of parts a year, but these parts have got to be made strong, accurate, great surface finish. And this is where the Citizen and Miano machines come in. We're looking here at the Miano BNA 42, fixed head lathe. Now this machine, we've got a three meter bar feed, so essentially they can load up, leave it running. So 5.30, 4.30 in the evening, next morning, loads of parts, and they've got no problems with what's happened in terms of accuracy, surf surface finish. So in terms of working envelope, what you've got is a fixed head toe, that's taking bar up to 42 mil diameter, then the turret, which is taking 12 tools which can be driven. So you can do your milling, your drilling, your turning, whatever that might be. You've then got your sub spindle, which is actually working as a sliding head, then the second turret, which is fixed, but that will index around. So that's given you a lot of flexibility to make those complex components. Now a great example is one here. Now this is a barrel from a mountain bike. Now this is made out of aluminium. Now fairly complex part. So you're milling it down here and in here, but then a lot of material removal down the center, then that's threaded. You've actually got radius in there to keep the strength. So as all sort of mountain bikers, bikers in general want, they want light, they want strength, but also surface finish, which is another key point. This is coming off as is there. As you can see the surface finish, so that doesn't need any operator intervention. It goes straight off to anodizing, which is really what they want to keep these components cost effective. So they can run these 24 seven off the machine, off they go for the next process, nice and straightforward. But this is being held tolerances of 0.01, so 10 microns very, very little operator intervention. So Andy, who's running this machine, say, yeah, he'll come in and tweak it very occasionally, you know, just, just making sure it's all running smoothly. But again, very little operator intervention. It's all part of the whole process, keeping things efficient, streamlined, and keeping Hope Technology at the forefront of bike technology.